amazing. Tiny fish-shaped robots swim around picking up microplastics by American Chemical Society on fish.org. Now, the thing I'm worried about is what happens if some animal believes that this is a tiny fish and goes around eating them? Now, microplastics are found nearly everywhere on Earth and can be harmful to animals if they are ingested, but it's hard to remove such tiny particles from the environment, especially once they settle into nooks and crannies at the bottom of waterways. Now, researchers in ACS's nanoletters have created a light-activated fish robot that swims around quickly picking up and removing microplastics from the environment. Because microplastics can fall into cracks and crevices, they've been hard to remove from aquatic environments. One solution that's been proposed is using small, flexible, and self-propelled robots to reach these pollutants and clean them up. But the traditional materials used for soft robots are hydrogels and elastomers, and they can be damaged easily in aquatic environments. Another material called mother of pearl, also known as nacre, is strong and flexible and is found on the inside surface of clamshells. Nacre layers have a microscopic gradient going from one side with lots of calcium carbonate mineral polymer composites to the other side with mostly a silk protein filler. Inspired by this natural substance, Xinjing Zhang and colleagues wanted to try a similar type of gradient structure to create a durable and bendable material for soft robots. The researchers linked beta cyclodextrin molecules to sulfonated graphene, creating composite nanosheets. Then solutions of the nanosheets were incorporated with different con concentrations into polyurethane latex mixtures. A layer by layer assembly method created an ordered concentration gradient for the nanocomposites through the material from which the team formed a tiny fish robot that's about 15 millimeters, that's about half an inch long, rapidly turning a near infrared light laser on and off at the fish's tail causes it to flap, propelling the robot forward. The robot can move 2.67 body lengths per second a speed that's faster than previously reported for other soft swimming robots, and that is about the same speed as active phytoplankton moving in water. The researchers show that the swimming fish robot could repeatedly absorb nearby polystyrene microplastics and transport them elsewhere. The material could also heal itself after being cut, still maintaining its ability to absorb microplastics. Isn't that significant? That's amazing. Astonishing, it can heal itself. Because of the durability and speed of fish robot, the researchers say it could be used for monitoring microplastics and other pollutants in harsh aquatic environments. This was by Journal Information Nano Letters, and it's on fish.org. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.